math folks number 13 green book question reading all right page 117 calculate the change owing for each purchase so they tell you the price on the first line and how much was paid on the second line and then you write here how much change you need to give them okay number two count up by tens to find the change owing from a dollar Okay, so a dollar is a hundred cents. So if you paid 90 cents, what would you get back? If you paid 70 cents and so on. Okay, so each, they kind of go in twos here. Question three, find the change owing for each purchase. Um, so again, all of these ones, they've paid a dollar, so a hundred cents. And so the amount paid is always gonna be one dollar a hundred cents. And then they give you the price here. So you just have to figure out the difference in there. Remember, we're counting up by tens. Find the smallest two-digit number ending in a zero, so a group of ten, that is greater than the number given. So 74 counting upwards, the next uh, number with ending in a zero would be 80. Okay, so count up from 56 or go up on your hundreds chart and figure out what the next uh, biggest group of tens is. All right, um, so up here is the description, um, which we learned in the lesson of how to combine both of those things. So we've got uh, the amount that we're starting with, then we figure out the closest 10, and that's how much uh, was paid. So we have to figure out those two amounts and um, add in the change. Find the change from 100 cents. Try to do the work in your head. Find the change in your head. So it's paid this much. Sorry, no, the price was this much. Amount paid that much. Write the change on the line. Price, amount, change required. Paul paid for a 42 cent stamp with $1. Draw the change he receives using the least number of coins. Find the change. So they paid $30, the price was 22, what change would they get? Right, so it's this chunk and then this chunk. Amount paid, price, change. Follow the steps shown below for finding the change from $50 on a payment of $22. Okay, so they're showing you, this is the instructions on what to do here. So you, for the box, you find the smallest group of 10 that's bigger than 27. Right, so counting up, 27, 28, 29, 30 would be the next one. So you'd write 30 in this box. Figure out how many steps it took to get there in here. Count up by tens and write the amount there. Add them together. That's how much change you would give. Find the change from $100. Try to do the work in your head. Find the change by first finding the change from the nearest dollar amount, then the change from the nearest multiple of 10. they've filled in the first part for you so you just have to fill in this part and this part and then add up those three to get into that box using the method of question 12 find the change from a hundred dollars for the following amounts all right that's it if you have any questions let me know